Hello, 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 everyone. It's your buddy, J. Rasik, and I'm hoping that you are having the best day of your life, of your entire life, today. And in fact, someone out there has a special little day, and we are going to give a little shout out right in the very beginning to our buddy, Nicholas Lightrider. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you all for all the hard work that you do. I got a little special treat for you that I wanted to get done today, but unfortunately, time did not allow so again happy birthday to nicholas lion rider and thank you again so much for everything that you have done for the planet zoo community as well as a modern community so moving along speaking of nicholas lion rider he has predicted the next dlc pack which is of course the african pack which would include the african penguin the meerkat the phoenix fox and the white rhino which has all pretty much been confirmed due to unintentional dining uh data mining however as of May 19th, we kind of got a little loop uh, thrown at us, um, which has kind of drove us a little crazy of what's actually going to go out there. And honestly, well, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and, and let you see for yourself here. Um, it really blows my mind at this point of what it could possibly be because now reading this, it makes me think that possibly, just possibly, it might be something else. And it went a little something like this. It goes, Happy Bird Day, everybody. Planet Zoo and all the DLCs are currently on sale. Pick up the base game for a feather flustering 50% off. DLCs range from 10% off to a cuckoo 35% off. Don't miss out on this sale before it flies away. <laughs> what? Oh my god, guys. Could it possibly be that maybe, just maybe, we might be getting birds finally into the game and... A uh, couple, you know, uh, maybe a cuckoo, possibly, um, a cu uh, cuckoo barrel, maybe, um, I don't know, it's just because so far, there hasn't been a habitat animal that has been confirmed or viewed through da uh, data mining. In case anyone has noticed that, we only got the four base animals that Lion Rider has suggested, but no habitat animal. Could it possibly be where we may have a habitat in the style of an aviary? I think that'd be really cool. Um, or maybe, just maybe, we're going to have the DLC Africa pack a little later, and we're going to be thrown for a complete loop with an aviary pack, which would mean we could have waterfowl bird, uh, birds such as ducks, geese, swans, maybe some aquatic uh, or marine type birds such as maybe a puffer fish. Uh, or not puffer fish, pu a, a puffer, uh, which I would think would be really cool. You see it flying around and dives bottom into the into the ocean and swims around underwater. I love those birds. Um, or, who even better, raptors. Yes, peregrine falcons, swanson hawks, Harris hawks, red tail hawks. Um, oh, geez, so limitless. Um, and, and of course, vultures and buzzards. Can't go wrong with there. Every single zoo that I've been to has some sort of buzzard, uh, whether it be a king vulture or an African buzzard or the standard turkey buzzards here in the U.S. They're everywhere. So, and I mean, maybe even some ground uh, smaller birds, like uh, maybe some actual guinea fowl, pheasants, um, partridges, or even, um, oh, geez, uh, a roadrunner. Um, for the desert, uh, that would be great to have. Um, but you know, it'd also be nice if these fly if these birds had flying mechanics. Now, is the possibility that we could do that? Yeah, it is. Um, basically, take the swimming aspects, put it upside down. Uh, you know, the the wall has to be at least four, uh, maybe ten meters or fourteen meters high in order for the flying mechanics to kick in, just like the swimming stuff. So that could be a possibility that we could be looking at for them to do. Um, so if they can do the flying mechanics, why can't they do or the, the swimming mechanics, I'm pretty sure they'll be able to do the flying mechanics as well. Uh, animations, of course, may be a little weird. Um, uh, uh, I, I'm not, by any means, a CGI artist um, or a game developer, so I have no idea how to even do that or where to begin with that. So, but honestly, it would be really exciting. And honestly, if we did have some more ground birds, that's even better. Now, let's say hypothetically, we don't, we, this African pack does go out. And maybe we get a couple more animals, but our birds. We're looking at possibly the secretary bird. Uh, we're looking at maybe uh, some cranes, storks, hornbills, stuff like that are, could easily be implemented in an African pack. So, I guess we are just going to have to wait because sure enough, the DLCs have gone on sale. 
which usually means that a DLC is coming up, a new one, and it's going to be launched. And of course, on Steam, we have a new downloaded, downloadable content that is unknown at this current time. So, I guess, uh, let me know what you think that the next DLC will be. Is it going to be completely ground-based uh, African pack? Is it going to be an African pack with birds? Or is it going to be a separate entirely different option which is going to be strictly an aviary pack well let me know in the comments down below what you think it would be and as always don't forget to subscribe uh, or click the like button subscribe and comment down below um, that really let me know uh, how i'm doing and so forth and as always as i constantly preach don't forget to build play and enjoy goodbye everybody and we'll see you on the next one and as i said earlier happy birthday lion rider goodbye everyone this is jay rasic goodbye Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy this video? It would really mean a lot to me if you smash that like button to let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon for future video contents and notifications of uploads. Also, leave a comment below on what you like about this video and what you'd like to see in the series. You can follow me on Steam, Twitch, and Discord. Till next time, build, play, and enjoy.